and freezing. Uh, Unison, we're a public sector union, we represent members in the health service and local government. And we all know what a brilliant job the health service did in the pandemic, but inside local government we had thousands of members wor working all the way through the pandemic. We had home carers going into the homes of the vulnerable and supporting them. We had people working in schools for the children of essential teachers. We had refuse workers, sweet street, I can't even say it, sweet street, I can't, people sweep the streets, well, trying to keep the place clean even in the middle of a pandemic. And we know during the pandemic, Boris took time off from his parties to come out of the party, stand on the front steps and clap for the health service and clap for the carers. But what did he do at the end of the pandemic, or near the end of the pandemic? He gave us a bloody big slap. He gave us a pay increase of 1.75% when inflation is over 5%. And that is the 10th year running local government staff at that less than the rate of inflation pay increase. The only other point I want to make is that last week, the Governor of the Bank of England was all over the media saying that if you want to keep inflation down, you've got to restrict wages. Well, I've got a question for the Governor of the Bank of England. Surely if you want to keep inflation down, you should restrict the rise in prices. You should restrict rise in rents. You should restrict rise in profits. Why is it only the workers that have to sacrifice? And I'm going to leave you with this last thought. It's brilliant that you're all here today. If you're in a workplace and you're not in a union, join one. If you're in a union, get active in it. Become a steward. There's an old pop record from the 1980s, a pop record. And I'm going to leave you with this thought. The chorus of it was, Go get organised! Thank you, Dave.